Okay, now I'm going to talk about uh, MPEG Stream Clip. I love MPEG Stream Clip. It's a free program for Mac and for PCs. Um, it does a, a lot of file conversions. It can do a little bit of editing, and it's completely free. Um, and this is what I use to make my MP4 videos for YouTube and for Easy uh, Video Player as well, Amazon S3. And I just want to go over some of the settings here that I use, and uh, it, it turns out with some pretty good results. So uh, if you use MPEG Stream Clip, you can follow along and if not you might want to take a look at it because this is great for converting your videos into uh, different file formats so once I have my file open in the, in the player here um, I'm going to go up way up to the top and do file export to MPEG 4 and then my settings come up um, I like to keep the compression at 8 h.264 um, but I like to up the quality to about 60 percent it's usually on 50 um, and, and I like to check B frames. Uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube recommends including B frames. And then this is usually unchecked, the limit data rate box. But I check it, I turn it on, and um, I usually enter an amount anywhere between 2,000 and 3,000 kbps. And that's actually a little bit on the low end. You can go up, you know, you can try 8,000. But what happens is when I type the number in here, the size, you can see the size right here, it'll change depending on what I type in. So 2500 kbps is 22 megs. If I go up to 3000 it goes up to 26 megs. So it's really not that much but if you have a long file or a long video that uh, that might create a large file um, this number might have to be played with but uh, anywhere between 2 to 3000 is what I usually do um, and then I like to at least do 1280 by 720 um, Sometimes if I'm using HD, I'll go all the way up to 1920 by 1080 uh, because YouTube will take care of the rest. Another thing that I like to do is usually this is checked on and um, YouTube doesn't recommend having interlacing, so I uncheck it. So um, it's usually 1280 by 720, uncheck interlace scaling, limit the data rate to 2000 to 3000 up the quality. You can always go up a little bit more too um, and include B frames. Uh, and that's about it. Then I click Make MP4, and MPEG Stream Clip does the rest. So these are no hard and fast rules. Uh, depending on your video, you might have to tweak a little bit of these, but uh, at least uh, know that uh, these are things that you can tweak. And uh, give it a shot. If you have any questions, let me know.